Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at the lift power of some of these new easy to find inexpensive GPS quads. Um, right here I have the new Sky Viper V2450 GPS and as you can see I velcroed a one paw um, FPV cam that records at 1080p 60 frames per second and it has gyro stabilization and right here I have the new World Tech Elite Venom or the um, Feilun FX760 I believe and right here I have velcroed the Firefly Q6 and I basically just used um, you know simple velcro strips that you could you know find at your local um, store and the cool thing about these uh, setups here is that um, these little uh, GPS quads have enough lift power to lift up these um, slender FPV cams and you also have the the um, true FPV cam that came with them see in this case I have the actual FPV cam and then I have the the um, attached cam, which is going to provide a lot better quality. You know, 1080p, 60 frames per second, gyro stabilized. So you'll be able to track it on your um, Wi-Fi on your uh, cell phone with the Wi-Fi FPV. But you'll also be able to record in much greater quality. Now, on the flip side, uh, the flight time is probably going to be reduced quite a bit because this is adding uh, additional weight and uh, you will be putting a little more stress on the motors but um, the quality of the footage you're going to be taking is going to be dramatically better than what is uh, on the stock camera so we're going to fly these around with these camera setups and show you what you can expect out of uh, attaching one of these to um, one of these small quads. Now these cameras are very similar. Uh, this is the one paw. It uses the Novatech processor, very same chipset that the Firefly Q6 uses. So, and they're both gyro stabilized. So the quality is going to be kind of comparable. Um, so we're just going to fly them around and show you how it looks like and show you the lift power of these little guys so check it out okay so now we're gonna fly the v2450 gps with the one paw and check out its footage let's check it out there we go as you can see it's carrying the one paw no problem it is uh, flying a little unstable but so let's check out what it records. This, this, this is a homage beat. Now the uh, Sky Viper is having a hard time handling the extra weight so I really don't recommend this setup but if you guys were curious if they could lift it off the ground it can but with a little bit of difficulty and if there's some wind 
doesn't do the best job, so it's just an experiment here. Okay, now we're going to take off with the uh, World Tech Elite Venom. Uh, that one is carrying the Firefly Q6. So let's see how that does holding it up. Let's see, here we go. Let's turn it on. Here we go. Let's see how it lifts it up. Carrying the Firefly 6, uh, no problem. So now let's see what it can record with that. So it has pretty good lift power. Let's see what it can record with these cameras. You know, I had a bit of a rough landing with this, so I'm gonna try something to see if it makes it a little more stable in flight, because this one I was also having some stability issues in flight. I'm gonna remove the stock camera and just add the Firefly Q6, see if it flies a little better. So I've taken out the um, stock camera and just put the Firefly on there and to see if it, is a little more stable in flight because this one also tended to be a little unstable in flight as the uh, V2450 but let's see what kind of footage we capture now here we go turn it on it is on off the ground seems to be a little better it's just that let's see how it does
you can do all sorts of things with that but uh, and that is also a brushed quad but these smaller brush quads right here uh, since they're smaller uh, they just don't have that lift power or lift capacity that the other one does so I wouldn't recommend it unless you're gonna fly in very close quarters maybe like in a uh, in a nearby field at low altitude just just in very close quarters uh, I wouldn't recommend it uh, especially if you're gonna fly over you know some body of water or a lake or something uh, you definitely don't want to do that because these definitely lost altitude and they dipped every now and then so it seemed like the altitude hold was just thrown off by um, or the gyros were just thrown off by having this little little added extra weight so anyhow I just wanted to share that finding with you and uh, it was an interesting experiment but uh, you know perform it at your own risk so all right take care